guys happy monday beginning of the week with some uh, simple home cooking again it's going to be a mix in between uh, french and japanese today coco tu veux participer <laughs> coco tu wants to participate and i'm going to show you also some ingredients that i'm not sure you're um familiar with Ah, hi Jason, I see this is working, the comments, good. I found this, do you know Lakyo, guys? Lakyo is, um, it's Japanese scallion or Chinese onion. It's very small, the bottom part that we pickle in Japanese, uh, in Japan. Um, and... <laughs> This, when you go and have curry in Japan, you get lakyo usually as a, um, a side dish that freshens your mouth, that cleans your palate when you eat, you know, it's pickles basically, so that cleans your palate. Lakyo, voila. I found those, so we can open them afterwards. Tomorrow, we are going to make tofu. So I found this amazing tofu that's called oboro tofu. And it's not silky tofu nor hard type tofu. Uh, oboro is in between. And I love the texture so we can check it out together. I don't know if you can see how it's super creamy, guys. Oboro tofu. And what I'm going to do is just open a little bit on the side. I open it a little bit on the side and then I will let it just drain itself. Here, see, just put it like this and the extra, the liquid is going to drain itself, okay? You, if you don't have a strainer, you have a strainer, but it's busy, like this one today. Alors, because we are going to make the dressing for the tofu. And ichijiku, figs with prosciutto. Voila, two dishes. Uh, the prosciutto is in the fridge. Prosciutto out. We can start uh, with our dressing. Soy sauce. Soy sauce. Alors attends, vinegar. I'm not going to use the super good soy sauce. I want to keep it, I've used so much already. I want to keep it for when I use it more like straight. Figs are you more yak? I love figs and it's the season. And the prices have dropped a little. I think I paid something like five bucks. So Daijobu, they were still like eight bucks about a week ago, so. Hello, hi guys. An episode of the Waltons, c'est quoi les Waltons? You all, you have so many references, guys. If that's YouTube again, you know that I don't watch YouTube, so. We need oil. I need to finish this sesame oil. Yeah, this one doesn't have really a taste of sesame. So I'm going to use sesame oil, but olive oil or canola oil work too. Soy sauce. Shoot, I forgot to go and get uh, shiso leaves on my balcony. <laughs> Myoga. And I still have okura. I want to use it, so I'm going to add okura, but that's not the classic recipe. And then shiso leaves. 
give me a second guys I'm going to stop the live while I'm picking <laughs> c'est vraiment de l'improvisation les gars I'm going to put the live off so that people who will watch on replay don't have to wait for like the three, two three minutes going, it's going to take see you in like ça y est je suis be quick allez hop she's olives all good Allez, là, au bout. Voilà. I don't know if you can find. You must be able to find shiso seeds. If not, my patrons, I, that's something I could send you. I'm lucky that my friend gave me from her vegetable garden an already like grown shiso, like small. It's not a tree, but I don't know how you call you would call that. So I have these fresh leaves and they just come out. You cut them, they just come keep on coming, on growing, which is great. Voilà, donc en plus je mange manque d'organisation aujourd'hui. C'est pas grave. This is home cooking. You just follow me in my daily cooking, guys. Donc The okula is extra today, but it will go well. Bon, on peut utiliser ce couteau. Donc, shiso leaves that we are going to cut finely. Voilà. I'm going to make Mm, the myoga, you cut it, it smells so good right away. I'm going to make some stripes to make a nice decoration. And the other half, I'm going. Voilà, ça c'est pour la décoration. Hop. Cut it finely, chop it finely, kind of. Just, I mean, depending on your mood, you can cut those as you want and depending on the decoration you want to make, guys. Voilà, this will go the dressing. And, qu'est-ce qu'on va faire? Uh, bah, allez, on peut. We can make some... Wheels. Voilà, ça fait une jolie décoration. Okula is so pretty when you cut it like this. You remember when I did the soma? That looks so pretty in the dish. Uh, I I'm going to make soma, western style soma, very soon, guys. Alors, bon, le angle n'est pas super. Alors, three spoons à deux, trois of oil, one spoon Of. Ah, mais il est tout neuf. Attends, hop, je retombe à côté. One spoon of vinegar. One spoon of soy sauce. About. A pinch. Of salt today. Up. The soy sauce is salty already, but can add some salt if you want. And then up 
Let's put our ingredients in it. Up. Voilà. That could be used also as a dressing for a salad, guys. Huh? That would make such a Japanese taste. Amazing. I, if you li like myoga and okula and everything, you will love this. Voilà. Donc, le tofu, what you do is... Uh, We've drained our tofu. Seriously, guys, the texture is just so amazing. Can you see how fluffy it is? Oui, you see? I don't want to press it too much because it's just so soft. It's to me, it, it's a tofu version of cheese. Can also be assimilated to cheese, I would say. Bon, bah tiens, je vais vous montrer le service. Allez hop. Let's platter together. We, we are going to taste it together, but I bet it's very tasty. Voilà. Oboro, oboro tofu. Yeah, because you get classic tofu, silky tofu or hard type tofu. Even this in Japan is not... I mean, this is high-end tofu, guys, okay? This is not... This is fancy tofu, kind of. Made not sauce. We put a shiso leaf, or is that too much? No. There. On dirait un dessert. Looks like a dessert. I'll have to take a have to take a picture. Je vais voir cette sauce, ça va pas. Alors, picture for Instagram. Bon, the lighting is not good. Fais voir, est-ce qu'on a une petite uh, light là? Mais bon, autour ça va pas. Ouais, it's not very sexy. <laughs> Mais bon, c'est pas grave. So that's one first dish. 
we can talk about it afterwards while we have this angle guys let's make our figs in this beautiful had this for something like 23 years, 23, 24 years. I bought this when I was living in Yakayama. Can you see like really traditional? Yeah. I have the cups too. This is for tea. Yeah. But we are going to platter our Ichijiko, our fig in here. Qu'est-ce qu'on fait? Let's cut a little bit. Alors, actually, you know, guys, what I always do is that I cut, so for beginners, cut a little below the nanny c'est quoi ça the hem comment on dit je sais pas okay. and wipe because there are always some kind of white milk like stuff we can cut in half i like to cut it with my hands too but Oh my god, it smells good. Wrap or attends comment on va faire on va faire un bed. Can do oh my god, it smells oh my god <laughs> the prosciutto smells so good. Putain c'est dur dis donc j'arrive pas à faire un nice uh... comment on va le décorer fait un petit bed with uh, je vais voir mes si this is du serrano serrano but of course you can pick any prosciutto that you like on va faire un, des, un petit bed hop it smells seriously guys so amazing parce qu'on veut faire une jolie photo après évidemment how is your French, guys? Have you learned? C'est pas mal, non? What do you think? And they, and they are firm. They look sweet, but they are firm too. Just mean petite feuille, là, de chisseau. It's just for... Well, actually, this will go well, I think. Chisseau goes well with everything, if you like it. And, guys, the last but not the least... This is French. You can find this in the States. A lot of my friends have bought this after I introduced it on Patreon a few years ago. Truffle honey. De la maison Peber. Va falloir vous me donner une commission, les amis, parce que je vous fais de la pub depuis des années. <laughs> I, should, I should contact them and ask them to give, to, to give me a commission or at least the products for free. This truffle honey, guys. I have tried many truffle honeys. But the problem with, with truffle products is that the truffle taste disappears so quickly. This one, I mean, this one has been opened for years. Uh, no, no, not for years, but for months. You have the big chunks of truffle. And seriously, it smells so good. The, it just doesn't change. Allez, je touche, je te mets là. Hop. Voilà. Yumminess. This is just extravagant. Oh my God. Champagne or red wine? 
Voilà, bon appétit les amis. C'est good, hein? I'm not celebrating, but that's kind of a... This is a starter, guys, or a muse bouche that if you make this, honestly, those two, so easy to make, so but so fancy. I mean, maybe this is not fancy, I'm not sure, the tofu, but... If you like Japanese food and you know that Japanese food is so popular everywhere, your friends will love this. And this is fancy, the figs. Right? Voilà, ça va être part of my lunch. I don't know what to have with this. I should stir fry some vegetables, maybe. Voilà. Alors, sorry, I didn't check out the comments. I, I, at all. Champagne français, quoi. Any questions, guys? <laughs> You're drooling. Ah, c'était pas the hem, c'était the stem. Ouais, c'est ça. Merci. Jessica. J'étais pas loin. Stem, hem. Tu vois? Looks like panna cotta. Yes, absolutely. Obolo. Tofu, so it's in between silky tofu and the hard type tofu. And what they do apparently is that they stop the process of making hard tofu before it becomes hard. They stop it and that makes this very soft tofu. I need to try and make nice pictures, guys. Uh, but what I will do is that I'm going to cut it and put a short video of cutting the tofu on Instagram, so you will, you can see the texture. What do you think? Uh, if I do it now, then, you know, I can't take a nice picture, so go and say, sorry. Uh, again, this brand, it's been a favorite for years. I haven't found any brand that beats this one because this has been open for, I don't know, at least six months more i think and still smells and the taste is still very truffle like this brand is amazing i don't know how did they do this because you know that i love truffle products but and i've tried so many but it's really hard even like oils truffle flavored oils i think this one lost kind of lost you have, you know, those oils, truffle flavored oils. I could, you, if you don't have the honey, you can put on your figs and prosciutto. Shark, by the way. Some truffle flavored. As well, smells just a little bit the artisan de la truffe that you can find they export. To the states to fever at all let me see if it's still tasty this has been open for at least a year or so taste a little bit yes still of truffle they hope but honeys i've tried a lot and they lose the honey flavor so quickly i think maybe it's still smells and a little bit and taste of it still because it's so tightly sealed maybe that's the key um what else guys any questions <laughs> does i hope the the simple recipes help you can adjust adapt for example this dressing i would say if you don't have uh shiso or myoga i mean that works too you can make your own uh dressing with the ingredients you have i mean even if you if you don't have any of those that i've put in the dressing you have your base for a good japanese dressing with just the oil the vinegar the soy sauce and a little bit of salt yes or no up to you Okay. What dish would you pair those with? 
to me this is like an a, this is definitely a starter so i wouldn't pair this with anything but maybe some bread not even sure i would pair this with wine that's the dish <laughs> i would pair this with <laughs> i mean even white could work because of the figs and with it, something like this any wine can work i would say because of the figs and the honey white wine chardonnay would work because of the prosciutto what well, red wine would work and then champagne of course would work too because those tastes are not too overwhelming i think to me champagne is the only thing that champagne is difficult with is for example oysters products fresh products that have that yod taste to me that's a little difficult to match those two but then if you do huitre gratiné if you would make a gratin that would take away that yod taste of the oysters champagne could work does that make sense do you see what i mean raw like this kind of difficult to me that spoils the taste of the champagne but if you arrange it in a dish then it loses that you know that yod taste and then it can be matched with champagne i think voila but raw it's difficult the tofu is like what i would do is just you just make a salad and that's a starter that's what i would do uh -huh. Uh, that dressing also on the seaweeds, fresh seaweeds, like I showed you the wakame the other day, that would work wonders too. Uh, uh, yesterday evening, I made myself some cucumber with sesame. I didn't do the soaking thing. The, I didn't pickle my cucumber. I wanted to have it right away, but I used the sesame oil base. Uh, it's kind of close to what I showed you before, but different also because it's not pickling the cucumber. But I've decided to try and show you as much as possible, you know, all the small things that I do, even if it's very simple because some people are not familiar with Japanese cooking uh, and nor French cooking, actually. And sometimes it's mixed in between the two. It's a little bit à la Jennifer but it's always very easy cooking and the result is tasty. So, I mean, to me, I've always promoted easy cooking. I don't know if you know that I've, uh, about 10 years ago, I had a book of my French cooking published and it's family cooking. And family cooking can be very tasty and it's not complicated. Um, here they tend to you know i mean to assert your position as someone who teaches i i think probably cooking here they try and make things look uh, complicated and they add things in the process ingredients but i mean at home french people it's never complicated and even here it turns out that when you see people cooking at home it is not complicated and that's why I'm trying to show you with uh, sharing all those recipes. When it's not orthodox, like classic recipe, I mention it, it's like I write a la Jennifer or it's like fusion or, or whatever, uh, because that works too. Uh, and I try, you know, always to make recipes simpler. But with what I did today, I mean, if you don't have all the ingredients, don't worry. It works too. Uh, if you just have, you know, the vinegar, the soy sauce, the oil, that works too. No worries. You don't need the shisu and the myoga. But you will still have, just adding the soy sauce gives you a Japanese taste. Huh? So hopefully, after a few months, you will get used to, to those simple cooking. You will see that it doesn't have to be necessarily complicated huh? of course maybe at some point i will make uh, more complicated recipes i will that's for sure uh brita when you watch this on replay thank you for the soba dish suggestion 
There is this dish I have been wanting to introduce you for a long time, so that's a good opportunity. I'm going to get the Zulu Zulu so, um, noodles care package from Kokoro Care Packages because I want to try all those noodles. So that will be a good occasion to a good opportunity to make more noodles recipes with you guys. Uh, et voilà. I'm going to try and keep on, you know, <laughs> take the gimbal out and show you those simple recipes. Um, daily might be difficult because I have to work too, but um, as much as possible. Ah. To come, Restaurant Est at the Four Seasons. Amazing lunch. Again, I need to edit the video. You got uh, a glimpse of it on Instagram. Please check out the video of l'écran that I made of that lunch that I did in Giza some time ago. It was an, uh, I think visually it's really like beautiful dishes. So uh, if you want to see good food that will make you hungry, please check that video out too. Keep on putting comments and suggesting, suggesting recipes that you would like me to try and make. Uh, Et voilà, because that gives me idea, uh, the ideas and that motivates me. Uh, et uh, voilà, I will see you again very soon. Thank you, Jason, for putting all the links up. I hope you are Genki. Alors, JK asks, what other fruits would you put on the truffle? Would you put the truffle honey on? With the prosciutto or not? Because you know that prosciutto goes super well with uh, melon too, right? The truffle honey, apples, pears. Prosciutto, apples, pears, truffle honey, paradise in the mouth, guys. Uh, if you don't have the prosciutto, that works well too. If you have some cheese, you add pears, apples. This really goes well with those fruits too, without the prosciutto. I think I just answered the question. Huh? Alors guys, I will actually, <laughs> there is some, there is another live stream we can do. do you, if you still have time, we can stop this live stream and I want to, I need to start. Oh no, we can do that tomorrow. I will eat that tomorrow. But I've decided to show you how to cut cheese, guys. I think I mentioned that before. And I received more cheese and I have to show you how to cut cheese because alas, a lot of my friends do not know how to cut cheese. <laughs> Donc, ça sera bien. It will be good for everybody. Because especially when you invite me to your homes, guys, so you will know how to cut the cheese. <laughs> and that will not make me cringe when you take the best part, okay? I can cut that... At, Seriously, Charlie cut the cheese yesterday under my nose. And you know how, I how much I love him, but I told him, baby boy, c'est interdit, that's forbidden. You can't cut the cheese under, basically really under mama's noise, nose. I thought I would faint. It was very <laughs> egg, egg like smell, but we can cut the cheese together, guys very soon maybe not now because i have some work to do and that will keep us busy this week but i'm going to show you how to cut brie because my lovely friends you don't know how to cut brie and i can tell you that c'est pas bon d'ayo let's do that maybe tomorrow or the day after tomorrow and I have to work, I'm going to do this right away actually, while I'm still on the wave. Shio Koji, edited video. Let's stop this live, I'm going to make the work on the first recipe. Okay, voila, thank you so much for joining me, keeping me company. Good. 
it's actually getting a little bit uh, i have waited well it's arrived here can you see the color you can see that it's very mature already maybe i can think also of some cooking with this we, we can do that ça et ça brie or a tasteless cheese guys with a tr the this truffle honey that will elevate any cheese ne? voila thank you so much guys i will see you again very soon during the week yeni thanks um sorry if i missed some comments if you have any questions please write a comment after the video i'm going to take pictures put them on instagram if you have any questions about the ingredients or anything uh, don't hesitate take care and i will see you again very very soon in a live stream thanks for keeping me company lots of love guys see you soon have a great evening or day bye